those 50 years and older to answer a few questions online. The questions include whether people have tried to schedule a vaccination appointment, have gotten vaccinated, and what people think about how the state is vaccinating Kapuna and essential workers. The results will be discussed during a telephone town hall a week from today that is open to the public. For more information, visit our website, khon2.com. Two more deaths and 20 new cases of COVID-19 were reported in the state today. Our state's death toll now stands at 441, and our statewide total stands at 27,640. Dr. Libby Char got the thumbs up today from the Senate Health Committee. Members voted to recommend her appointment as the Department of the Health Director. Sarah Madison reports. Dr. Char stepped up to the plate and started leading the Department of Health since September. In a written testimony, the governor said her leadership is critical as we continue to fight COVID. Many organizations and department heads also threw their support behind Dr. Char. To be a leader, you must have the respect of who you are leading, and Dr. Char has that and more. Dr. Char has repeatedly demonstrated the ability to make sound, evidence-based decisions. And she's done a tremendous job at keeping Hawaii safe. When asked about her priorities, Dr. Char explains it's about being prepared in a crisis. I'm trying to keep the department positioned at least a step ahead of what we envision coming next so that we're prepared for it when it comes. We know it's coming. Um, and I think it means that we're going to have to compromise on some things, um, what otherwise wouldn't have been acceptable. Senator Joy San Buenaventura thanked Dr. Char for stepping up at a time of controversy and asked for a good working relationship. I just request that in the event there is a difference in policy um, decisions, and the big example was the contact tracing problem and the COVID-19 testing, uh, whether or not you can work with us rather than against us. Now that the Health Committee has made its recommendation, we'll keep you posted when the Senate will have a floor vote to confirm Dr. Char's nomination. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.